you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much what it's going to that's pretty much, I don't care what say, it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids, this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to purposely tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? We are talking about our kids. We are talking about our children. What's so sickening about me, I love the Discovery Channel. You will see that on the Discovery Channel, animals will put their lives on the line to protect their children from yeah. danger. Yeah. Nobody want to get to the heart of the matter, get to the meat of the matter, get to the moral of the story. It all comes down to it. The person that's going to be suffering from this, the one that's going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. Ain't not one white person ever going to keep any of them from getting there. So the CRT stuff, BS. Oh, that was awesome. And that was Illinois father Ty Smith speaking his mind, speaking truth. I'm so glad that he was telling parents, you got to step up and defend your kids. Now, this father, Ty, joins us now to talk about his plans to continue this fight against critical race theory and the response that he's been getting from this video, which has gone viral. A lot of parents are talking about it. Ty, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. And I tell you, you've inspired a lot of parents who are really afraid about speaking out. And they were, they just caught your energy. They caught your fire. And I think you inspired a lot of families out there. Yes. I mean, I just it just it kills me because, you know, growing up, without my father and then he got to a point to where like our mother was unable to take care of us uh once we was kind of getting a little older it just was too hard for her to do it you prayed and wished that there was somebody that was there for you that would actually protect you and stand up for you from dangers that was around us and the way i raised my sons i'm that type of father i don't care people can try to twist things around and call it toxic masculinity you can call it what you want to but you're not getting mine period i don't care so that's the type of attitude i had oh, when i, I went to this that. meeting because um you know I love kids and I know most kids that look like me don't have their father and the kids that I mentor, I'm that same type of way with them. I treat them the same way I treat my own sons. And if someone tries to come and harm them, I'm coming with that same type of fire because I know that's the future. And that's the comment I was trying to make in there saying that, man, you find it in the animal kingdoms that animals would like defend their young, they put their lives on the line to make sure no predators, you know, predators would get to them. But like humans, I'm just thrown off like we'll just let anybody do anything with our kids tell them what they want to just go to school and don't get involved in anything and then it throws us off when later on down the line we're trying to figure out why are our kids coming home with a certain type of attitude or a certain type of behavior and we're not checking right. it at the door they're getting it from school right oh that's such a great point and that's a great point because i don't think a lot of parents i mean parents to an extent you know they see the homework their kids are doing but maybe it wasn't until this lockdown that you know when a lot of parents were having were having to do school in the house doing school in the living room school in the kitchen they started seeing some of this stuff there was a school district in my home state where there were faculty actually telling students don't show this to your parents talking about some of these crt assignments that as you really well stated it's teaching division and teaching hate how long do you think i mean what would the energy from the parents in the room do you think that, they, that any of these parents had any idea that this had been happening up maybe until the last few months no and definitely amongst the black community when that when i when i spoke like that and the video went viral a lot of people that are from my community they know that i talk about this a lot but i guess when it went global everyone else kind of well let me look into this and i have i cannot even begin to tell you the amount of emails that i have that pour in of parents saying thank you you know you made me wake up yes you you were right i was the type of parent that all i cared about was my child getting good grades but i didn't pay attention to actually what was being taught in the classroom and when i realized what it was it just blew my mind and my son would come and say yes they talk about this in class and they don't call it critical race theory they don't they, they give it some other name but the basis of it is the exact same thing of what critical race theory is so I love how people come at me and say, this guy doesn't know what critical race theory is. He doesn't know. Look, mm. if I go to a classroom and I start saying things like, thou shall not kill, thou shall not, thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, and I start saying things like, knowest thou not that I love it thee. Now, people will say, wait a minute. This guy is kind of sounding like the Bible. It's not like he's speaking Bible language. Well, I'm not speaking Bible language. No, I'm, I'm not speaking religion. 
Yes, you are. You're talking about things out of the Bible. So when you hear words like equity and inequality and institutional racism and you, you start to find out these same type of lingos is being used in Marxism. And just right now, the mm. teachers union, now that I now that this shit light on this, you see right now what's going on with the teachers union. They pretty much are like, yeah, yeah. we're going to be teaching critical race theory. And also, with that being said, we're going to support Black Lives Matter when October 16th come around. What we're going to do for George Floyd. Black Lives Matter is founded in Marxism. They said it themselves. So it's just like, there it is, folks. I've been telling them all along. So I guess this black guy that don't have no degrees, I'm not a father, I'm not married, I'm not a musician, I'm not a minister. The way they try to debunk me, I was planted there by the Republican Party. And it turns out I'm Candace Owens' brother. So now all of a sudden, the school board came, well, the, the <laughs> teachers union came out, and they pretty much said, yeah, we are going to be trying to implement this in there. Now what people are going to say, well, it's not like what you think is going to be. They only want to show, you know, they just want to show, they want to make it like aware that no, no, you want to teach children to dislike each other based on their race. Yeah, that, and that's the thing that that is, it's so, it is actually painful to see that. And when you, when, you, when you have kids, I mean, my kids, you know, they were homeschooled. We lived in, in St. Louis City. It was, I mean, it was a great homeschool co-op. Uh, then we moved to Dallas, Texas, started going to school here. And they had, I mean, th that was, they didn't focus on all the division. And I just, and I had one of my kids actually say to me, when did everybody start focusing on all of these other things that they don't, that they don't get to choose. That's just who they are when they're born. Why is this so, why does this have to be the first thing that we look at? And to see that tie, to see that that innocence and that, you know, accepting of people who they are, everybody's, you know, brother and sister in the kingdom, that's what really gets me. As a parent, that's, I mean, it's it's like a death of a certain innocence, it, isn't it? I know it's hard for you as a father to watch. Yes, the thing is, is that, you know, when you think about it, when it all comes down to it, it's trying to do the direct opposite of what the, our abbreviation of this country is called, United States of America. They want to make it the divided states of America. They want to divide us based on our genders now. They want to divide us based on our roles. They want to divide us based on our color, divide us based on all kinds of just different things. It's all about just division, division, division. They're getting you to look at things that was not even of no importance. You know what I mean? And now that you actually try to get us to focus on that, it makes us so focused on it, we don't even know what's going on over here. So that's why I'm jumping in. Oh, no, time. I No, 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 no. I came from the ghetto. I came from the hood. I came from those places that you guys are talking about. And there was no white person, no white man, no system that was there that kept me from achieving what I wanted to achieve. So when I go and talk to these kids, I am pushing nothing more than, hey, y'all can do this. It's good. You, it, matter of fact, it's not even hard. It's easy. It may take some time to get there, but y'all definitely can do it. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Now, all of a sudden, you catch hate because you're telling a child that they can actually do what they want to do. You catch hate because you are encouraged somebody to be able to go and achieve anything they want to in America, having no walls to prevent them from doing it. And yet there's people, yes, it is. Yes, it is. OK, well, I'm the type of person like here. I'll come and show you guys. Well, don't listen to him. No, no, no. I'm Let, let me show the children and let them make a decision for themselves. No, don't do that. He's just trying to pander to the white people. Look, child or single mother, if you want your child to be successful, let them come with me and I will open the door and show them where it's at and let them make the decision, see what they want to do with them with their lives. But people are going to try to do everything mm -hmm. they possibly can to keep that. Because if I can sit there and get you to believe this perception I'm trying to get you to stay stuck with and you never actually go and check to see if it's indeed a reality, I got you. You're stuck. Mm, there you go right there. Amen. I have to ask you, Ty, your sons. I mean, I'm sure that they're, you know, they're not watching parents debate about CRT. Maybe they are. I don't know. Kids are really tuned in today. Are they aware of, you know, how, I mean, you went hard for not just your kids, but everybody's kids. Are they aware of, of what you did and the significance that it, that it is now in not just American culture, but really everybody's dealing with this everywhere? I mean, everybody knows you around the world now. What do your kids think about this? Well, to them, my sons, they, when it actually went viral, they had a hard time trying to figure out, like, they, they literally are like, ignorant to it they're like because they never was taught that i never talked about color in my house once whenever my sons then went and played with friends i just said oh okay so you guys are gonna go play with your friends that was it so even up to the ages right now 17 to 19 years old and they are just dumbfounded about what is this about why is this like you said what's the focus about the color for what is, what are they saying what are they talking about color for and when i explain to them that they're uh what it's all about then they say but you and mom y'all both have y'all degrees and, you know, mom went to a my mom. I mean, you know, they'll say my mom went to a historically black college where everybody on the faculty was black. So they're confused. Like, what are they? So they saying you guys can't get there. But, dad, you have your degree. So and see, it's confusing to them. And just think if every child was raised wow. that way where they didn't have to be taught anything about color. They just taught that you do. You can achieve and do what you want to in America. And you just keep pointing them in the right direction.